Hey guys, Crazy Postman here. I'm with you here on a windy Sunday here in Southwest Oklahoma for the, what, 11th, 12th installment of the Tesla CCS Adventures. I got the latest firmware, firmware version 143. I've had it for a week or two now. I'm sorry for the delay in these videos, but as the rest of the country knows, we had a little bit of a, a cold spell here in Southwest Oklahoma and Texas and uh, we're just now recovering from that so today I'm gonna get version 143 tested if you remember last time on 142 the adapter started this new I'm not gonna lock when you put me in the car thing so let's get to the Francis Energy in Lawton Oklahoma where they have this CCS high power charger and uh, we'll try it out and see if 143 does the job all right guys here I am back in the very windy lot in Oklahoma to try out this BTC high power station once more with firmware version 143 let's give it a try here we go it's gonna work the first time y'all Very first time. Very first time. Okay. All right, here we go. It's going to work the first time. Fingers crossed. Authorizing payment. Payment has been authorized. Initiating. Come in here and look at the car. It's still saying wait. Like nothing is going on. Okay. Said failed. All right don't know what's happening there but it didn't work at least the adapter is locked this time so it is locked in the car that's good let's try again okay this is reset we got that in got that in the adapter did lock. Okay, this is different. It says it's open, but it's not displaying anything. It is locked. Initiating. It doesn't look good for this attempt because the computer screen's blank. Communication failed. Okay, let's reset. This is a little different. Communication failed. So this very same thing happened last time I was here with software 142. It just would not start charging. It just says communication failed every time. The people from SeaTech said their engineer was blaming my account for not having any money in it. So I'm gonna pay with a credit card this time instead of my NFC card. I know my account has money in it, but just for giggles, we're gonna try it with a credit card this time. The last episode when it wouldn't charge at this station with my NFC card, I, I rolled up over there on the other side and charged at one of the TELUS stations. No problems with my NFC card. So it's definitely this station not being compatible with this adapter. COM port is opened. I am using my credit card.
authorizing payment payment authorized so we can rule out the NFC card not working here we go it's still saying the same thing on the screen it says it's starting communications but nothing ever connects and then that says initiating and then it'll say communication failed so the CTEC adapter is definitely not working at these BTC power stations the high powered ones anyway we'll try a fifth time just to be absolutely sure but it's definitely not working it does lock though so that's more than it was doing last week alright y'all so this was a complete fail today at the BTC power site but let me just show you that the other stations work every time so the adapter does work it's just these particular stations for some reason they just are not compatible yet but let me go over to the other side and I'll show you what I mean it works every time here we go this is gonna work I guarantee you I guarantee All right, y'all, here we are at the TELUS power side of Francis Energy. We're gonna give this a go, and it will work the first time, I promise. <laughs> this wiring is a bear. I know I say that every time, but it is not a lie. All right. Now, I heard the, uh-oh. All right, here we go. Waiting for EV response. And stuff is displayed on the screen here. The car's clicking is definitely working. I told you, this thing these TELUS power stations are very reliable, for me anyway, with this adapter. Things are clicking, it just fires right up. And now it's charging. 124, 125.4 amps. So as long as the battery heater is not running, 125 amps at 175 volts is probably around 45 ish using quick 45 kw 46 maybe okay let's go inside and see what the car reports oh well the heater's running let's turn that off the battery heater's probably running as well so i'm only pulling 40,000 watts right now but I have used this adapter and seen 50,000 watts before. So we can see that the adapter works fine at this TELUS power station. It fires right up the first time every time. I don't know why there's such a problem with the BTC power stations over there. Um, this adapter's been in the wild for months now. You would think they would have an engineer at BTC that you know would know how to fix this but I don't know it seems like they haven't even tried the CTEC people are doing everything they can do to make it compatible with the BTC stations but um, after obviously how many videos have I made how many firmware versions have we done um, it's not there yet we'll keep trying I'll keep coming over here and testing this for everybody every time I get a new firmware revision I'll head over to that BTC station over there and see if today's our lucky day but so far we're not there yet but thanks for watching this episode I'm going to unplug here and head home
I will see y'all in the next one. Oh my gosh, I want to get around this guy so bad. He has a freaking furniture in the back of his freaking car. He's going 75 to 80 miles an hour with furniture in the back of his freaking car on a day that the winds are like oh my gosh y'all i am in autopilot timeout the tesla was not happy about how fast i went when i passed this guy so now i'm in autopilot timeout for the rest of this trip i can't engage it dang it Continue our trip to Lawton to this Francis High Power CD, CDMA. <laughs> uh, not CDMA, that's phone. Ch uh, CCS, there we go. So, as long as the battery heater's not work, run <laughs> so as long as the battery heater's not working, golly. ride in a Tesla. Here it comes again. Uh, actually a Model 3 specifically. That air ride probably helps a lot in the fancier versions that I can't afford. Alright guys, so I was just sitting here thinking while I was driving another, uh, I don't know, 100 mile trip to go test this uh, adapter. You know, I'm the world's best beta tester because not only did I spend 700 bucks to buy the thing with my own money, I've done hours and hours and hours of te free testing for them. Man, where's the, where's the award section? But on top of that, just y'all don't know, this is a little behind the scenes, I had to buy a new laptop this laptop is brand new. I had to buy that. It just to put icing on the cake. I was stupid and I left my USB cable at home. So now I'm gonna have to stop at Walmart in Lawton and buy another USB cable. Who knows, so I don't know, $9, $14. My channel just now became monetized. This will be the first video that I release that's actually monetized. Y'all cheap bastards. <laughs> Better not skip those commercials. You watch that full commercial. I got a USB cable to pay for. Ah! Okay, back to your regularly scheduled uh, episode.